Let's check what's inside the ether. This is the rare alloy. And this is how the body and the frame inside the ether looks like. You can see the rear suspension. This motor is a belt driven system. If you can see the motor is directly connected to two other belts. And if we feel if there is lack of power or anything, these are the belts and the two gears which has to be checked first. The motor's position is right below the rider's seat. And this is the battery case. This is the power generator of the bike. Aether claims it to be the IP67 rated waterproofing case. If you can see the battery pack is placed exactly below the floor of the bike. Moving to the front shocks and alloys. It also comes with Duradisc front and back. You can see the rear swing arm in this angle. That is what takes all the load to the rear suspension. Moving to the rear alloy and the disc. This is a 90 by 90 tire on a 12 inch alloy. The caliper on the disc is placed on top. That is a small advantage where dust doesn't get in quite easily. This is the overall look and feel of the inside frame of the Aether 450X and the 450 Plus. Now comes the motor. The motor is kept separately as a demo. The motor size is very small when compared to the bike. This is the first time I was seeing a electric motor on a bike and I was surprised to see the size. It's a very compact size. It's a 6kW motor. Now moving to the battery casing. Aether smartly placed it inside an aquarium to show how good or how reliable its battery casing is. It has a 2.9kWh lithium ion battery pack. IP67 rated water resistance and dust proof. That's it for this one guys. Stay tuned. Until next time.